I'm sure we all remember how the city of New York was firing public employees, including firefighters, police officers, teachers, and so forth, who refused to comply with the city's clean mandate. Well, just this Monday, October 24th, a New York State Supreme Court judge ruled that 16 sanitation workers who had been fired for refusing to comply with the mandate were fired illegally, have to be reinstated to their position, and also must be given back pay. Before I go any further, I think it's important to mention that in New York, the Supreme Court is the trial court. And so the state court system still has an appellate level and then an ultimate appellate level. So just because it's called the state Supreme Court doesn't mean it is similar to what would be our federal Supreme Court. Also, although I've seen a number of articles stating that this Supreme, state Supreme Court ruling has reinstated all city employees who have been fired for failing to comply with the mandate, that is actually not the case. This case applies to the 16 fired sanitation workers only. but the court made a number of really interesting points um, in ruling that the rights of the sanitation workers have been violated. The court noted that the VAX does not prevent a person from transmitting or contracting the virus. The court noted that the VAX is not absolute because breakthrough cases can still occur even in vaxxed individuals. The court said the firing of these employees was not just about safety and public health, but it was about compliance. And the court also said that it's time for New York City to do what's right and what is just. Now, the curious thing about this case is that these sanitation workers were fired in February, but in the following month, March of this year, Mayor Adams issued an exemption to the VAX mandate for pro athletes and performers so that they could play sports and perform in public. Also, just this month, the mask requirement for the New York City subway was dropped. And then as of November 1, the city is dropping the mandate for private employers and for students who are involved in extracurricular activities. Although the mayor has said that the public employees are not on the radar and they do not intend to end the mandate for public employees. And as you can see below, the court also specifically held that there was nothing to support the rationality of keeping the mandate for public employees while vacating it for private sector employees or creating carve outs for certain professions like athletes, artists, and performers. Despite all the loosening of the rules and the exemptions and so forth, the city issued a statement saying that it strongly disagrees with this court ruling, stating that it has already appealed the court ruling and making clear that the court ruling only applies to the individual petitioners involved. So it would appear that despite news articles proclaiming otherwise, the city intends to strongly fight this case 
does not intend to rehire other public employees who have been terminated due to failure to comply with the mandate. And in fact, Mayor Adams issued a statement saying that they had no intention of rehiring such employees. So it looks like only these 16 sanitation workers will be reinstated, which the court actually ordered, and will be given back pay. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out for the rest of the firefighters, police officers, teachers, and so forth that were fired for failure to comply with the mandate.